Hey, this is Jerry Work with Profit Dig, and what I want to show you today is how quick and easy it is to manage your employees in the Profit Dig system. So, the screen we're on now is the dashboard. So, I'm going to come over to our menu and click Employees. And so, this is where you will see all of the employees that have been set up for your company. By default, the employees table shows 10 at a time. You can change that if you have more than that so you can see more of your guys. And for each employee, you have the first name, last name, their pay rate, a job code, and corresponding job title, and what crew that employee is on. And at the very end, you have the option to delete or edit an employee so if you click edit so you can change his name or his job classification or his pay rate now the one thing you can't change here is what crew the employee is on and I'll show you how to do that in just a second so each employee as you see has a code and title now uh, those things are set up in advance on the employee classifications screen. ProfitDig comes with a uh, standard set of global uh, classifications and codes, but it is highly likely that you will have job classifications at your company that are not already included by default, so you need to set those up, and that's really easy to do that. Come over here to the custom classifications table, click add new, give it a code and a classification name, and that's it there. Now if you, uh, if you delete one of your custom classifications because you decide you don't need it, it will appear over here in this deleted table, and if you want to restore it so that you can still use it again, just click restore here, so that moves them back and forth. Okay, so back on the employees table, if I want to add a new employee, just click add employee, first name, last name, classification, and a pay rate. Now you need to think about this very carefully because your pay rate, whether it's hourly or salary, is just not, it's not just what you're paying him. It's anything that, that any other costs that are associated with an employee. That could be insurance, workers' comp, or any other kind of benefits that guy gets. You know, all of that stuff needs to be factored into your pay rate here. So remember, this is not just his hourly wage, it's any other fees associated with having that employee. And that's pretty easy to figure out. So say you pay X dollars a month for workers' comp for uh, any particular employee, well, if it's hourly, divide that by, you know, 160 or whatever seems like an appropriate number of hours to break it down into an hourly rate and add it on. Uh, same with salary. If it's an hour or if, I'm sorry, if it's a, if it's a monthly fee that you pay, multiply it by 12 and tack it on to his, to his, uh, annual salary. Just make sure that your, um, pay that you enter for an employee reflects the actual cost of that employee. Okay, so we uh, we showed you that each employee here is associated with a crew. Some of them say no crew. Um, so the, the, uh, that is managed on the crews screen. So this table here shows each one of the crews that we've set up. To create a new crew, just click the add crew button, give it a name, uh, select a foreman. Okay, we don't have one here. And employees. And one thing you'll notice is that we've only got just a handful of employees here, but we had many more than that set up in the employees table. That is because an employee can and a foreman can only be added to a single crew. Now they can be moved around different crews if you need them on different crews at different times. But 
at any one time an employee and foreman can only be added to a single crew okay so back on our cruise screen to see who is in a particular crew just click view members it shows your foreman your employees and your equipment they're all part of this particular crew and you can remove them just by clicking the remove button or if you want to add members to the crew click the add members slash edit crew name button here you can change the crew name uh, or add a foreman or employees and click update to crew so one more thing I want to point out is that as you can see here a lot of our employees have these kind of generic names you know so here's one Jeff Jeff Smith okay so that is an actual existing real human being some of these labor one labor two labor three these are sort of generic employees that we've set up for purposes of, of bidding jobs and that's that's kind of a good way to um, manage your employees from the standpoint of setting up your crews for bidding jobs is that you can make it kind of generic rather than using specific employees and it, just, it gives you more flexibility and then if the if the job is awarded to you you can go in and swap out those generic names for actual employees or you can leave a generic at that point for for the costing phase however you want to do it but the system gives you the flexibility to either use specific employee names or just more generic names for job bidding purposes so that is how you set up and manage your employees it's a really fast process really easy um, the main thing to make sure that your information is accurate is to make sure that whatever uh, costs or rates you enter for your employee employees like I said reflect the actual cost and not just whatever the hourly rate uh, or annual salary is so if you have any questions look us up online at profitdig.com or send us an email at info at profitdig.com and we publish a ton of videos like this on our uh, YouTube channel at YouTube slash profitdig so I'm Jerry Work and we will talk to you later